So I've got Baldur's Gate 3 here. Baldur's Gate? I don't fucking know how to say that. And as stupid as it is for me to be starting yet another game here, <laughs> I'm not getting through the ones I've already started, I gotta do another one here. Now this, uh, this studio that made this is not a AAA studio, and a lot of the stuff it's been doing has been smaller production games or things funded through Kickstarter, but I've been very impressed with the stuff that they have done in the past. Divinity Original Sin was a great game. Divinity Original Sin 2 was a fantastic game, even though it was clearly not like a AAA game. The amount of freeform gameplay was just unheard of. And I just, I didn't complete that game because the story didn't hook me. But just like, the freedom you had in the gameplay was just amazing. I hear this game, even though it just released, is even better than that. So I had to plop down the $60 for the PC version, and I want to give this a shot. Uh, I guess balance is like, medium difficulty. Apparently this has some online component, because I just had to prove it. Alright, that seemed really unfortunate. <laughs> okay, I don't... I have played the older Baldur's Gate games, or Baldur's Gate, or whatever. And I, I didn't spend a lot of time with them, because I, I didn't play them when they were new games. I played them uh, years, years later when they... I think they were on GOG or something like that I got from got them. So I didn't spend a lot of time with it, just enough to sort of get the idea of the way the game plays and there's definitely something in the years of like the into the 2000s and to the 2010s and stuff that went missing in the CRPG genre where a lot of the sort of freedom of the games got sort of replaced with the sort of Elder Scrollsy style games so, like, take for example, in Fallout and Fallout 2, you had the ability to, whenever the hell you wanted, just kill whoever. Anybody. You can kill anybody. And you can kill them in, like, creative ways, like, um, reverse pickpocketing a grenade into their inventory, and that would, um, that would kill them that way, or whatever. And you had so much freedom that you could do. But when you got into, like, Elder Scrolls or more uh, the later Fallout games, Fallout 3 and New Vegas and all that kind of stuff, you sort of lost some of that in exchange for just a different gameplay style. But within the last 10 years, you saw this sort of 
resurgence. I mean, I guess these games always existed somewhere in some market, but you saw like a rise to prominence with these kinds of things. And you had Wasteland 2 and you had Divinity Original Sin and all that kind of stuff coming around and really just sort of to a, a smaller market, you know, CRPGs, but you're seeing them on consoles as well now. But a resurgence of this and now taking advantage now of the more powerful hardware to allow even more freedom in the games gameplay. Now looking at this, I'd say that this is a very attractive looking game, although it's not, um, uh, definitely not looking at a, um, really, uh, triple A game. It's, looks good enough, looks, looks good, not triple A level, but looks good enough, but it's the gameplay that really makes the difference here, so. Uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time in the character creator just because I want to just want to get an idea what I'm doing here before I choose my before I choose my characters. So I'm going to shut the camera off. All right, so this is the character Rondo. You need a guardian. Oh, I'm not finished building. <laughs> need a guardian. Oh, so this is uh, somebody that you choose that follows you around? Oh, give me a minute. Doesn't look like I have as much freedom when it comes to designing. I can't create a class. Just race and appearance, so uh, I'll go with this one.
right, we're at 100%. Oh, okay. Okay, here we are. came from the parasite now writhing behind your eye huh. oh all right skill checks yes got it boom am I gonna have to the watch that every time fragile. the slightest touch could cause it to crumble And it crumbles. Another step forward. Hey, an onyx. Dead. Take it. Good. I have control of the camera. At the same time, I have control of the character through the mouse. <sighs> Okay, so it, it controls very much like uh, Divinity did. I have to admit, I went into this game not really knowing much of what to expect. Where was that orc girl that... We had seen earlier. Oh, I can rotate the camera. Who said that? Oh, it's an elevator. <laughs> Better not be cursed. It doesn't do anything. Release us. Oh, there's somebody down here. The guy, though. in expectation. Please. Uh. Before they return! They return. This is weird. <laughs> the enemy! So many enemies! A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the Mind Flayers who abducted you. Hmm. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Uh. Here we go. I'll get that. Ten. Plus one intelligence. So I, I got it. Barely, but I got it. Edema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Uh. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh shit. Um, how does what is happening here? I don't know how any of this shit works. <laughs> I think I won, though. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Yeah, do that. Fifteen. Ah, oh, fuck. Five. Nowhere near. <laughs> I 
Didn't work. I might have killed it. <laughs> This is my pet now? <laughs> Did it hurt itself jumping down there? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> of course, in the early goings with these games, you don't really get a good idea what they're like. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Where'd my little brain head go? Uh, inside the goblin? I don't know. Money? <laughs> That's weird. Okay. That's where I started. That's where I started. Let's see if we can get out of here. I want to start my mayhem. Dragons. Can do with the dragons trying to down you. Up, oh, time to start killing. Okay, turn-based combat. So I got my abilities here. Oh, okay. So I'm controlling both of these characters. So run up there and attack. Dead. And uh, you should have magic. There you go. Didn't kill it. Okay. One day I'll catch a break. Oh, I can jump. All right. <laughs> Missed. Kill this one. Then this one. Make way. Sometimes the only way out is through. You prove surprisingly adequate in battle. What's that? Oh, crossbow. 
Oh, do I gotta loot everybody in body individually? What's hiding here? I guess I do. Inventory. Uh, okay. Can you boom? Oh, hand axe, awesome. How about the crossbow? Awesome. Toggle weapon set with F. Awesome. There we go. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Climb that shit fast, bro. You like Spider Man. Yes, open that sphincter. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. How about I touch this? Seventy <laughs> seventy. How about I tried magic again? You missed. You suck. Oh, these are people. Delayed hit. Alright. Okay, seven, though. I can get that. Come on. Plus three? Jeez, why couldn't I get this earlier? <laughs> Warding ruins. You feel them drawing energy from the console near to the pod. Are you satisfied? We need to go. Don't you think we might need some help? <laughs> appears dormant. The console hums to life. The console? Are these things electronic? And I got it. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Oh, so it's not a machine. It will open the nearby pod. Yeah, open the goddamn thing. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Will the pod to open? Difficulty too. Why even bother making me do this? I roll an 18. <laughs> you feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Mixed with wariness, 
because you have a gith with you. You keep dangerous company. <laughs> Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Get going, I'm Brando. I got what plants need. Shadowheart. One moment. Did you just take the die that we rolled? <laughs> Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Why am I leading? Doesn't anyone else know what to do? Father, can I go? Always room for more? Let's right. take that shit. Oh shit. Alright. Oh, it's my brain. That's not my brain, was it? Ooh. That was pointless. How about you try bashing it? Oh, there's more of these. Where's my brain? <laughs> Not enough to kill it. Get out here, though. I don't know if it's friendly fire in this game, but I don't want to take that chance. Dead. How about you try clubbing this thing? Or... <laughs> How about, uh, you? Can Something you do this? Matter. Besides the obvious, that is. Pondering my name won't get us off this ship. Let's stow the small talk until we're safe, shall we? She's not the girl I created. What was I? Was she? I'm right behind you. How do I control you? You gotta have some, uh... Flackets will be done. One of you guys gotta be able to open this locked thing. Whatever comes... Yeah, we'll just take this whole damn thing with us. I have a lot on my mind, and well, in it, here goes nothing. I should took a lot of damage. If not over, then through. Mind fire horticulture. Kill it! Kill it now! Okay, that healed her. Gotta make it easy for you in the beginning. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kenyank. We're gonna have a problem here. That's a big motherfucker. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Thulu's having a bad day. Draw. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now. Do it. We will deal with the gate after we escape. Oh, I'm fighting on behalf of this thing now. This thing's falling fast. Got to write it. Okay. <laughs> Time to strike. 
Oh, got one. Should I just run up here and do this thing that he wanted me to do? It's on the other side of the map. Hey, stop picking on me, motherfucker. Not enough ability points to do two attacks. Could I kill this thing if I... Yeah, got it. This thing got a lot of HP. I don't know if my team's really going to be much of a help. A little bit of damage, I guess. Especially if you're just going to miss. <laughs> I think you need to move forward. We're not going to do any good against that demon dude. I got to distract these imps. down. Swift as my feet can carry me. No! Don't, you motherfucker. Ah, at least that missed. Why can't you get enough kills? Ah, you suck. Oh, shit. Mind Flayer is about to die. I'll give it a shot. Huh. The Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time. Did I? Did we make it in time?
Okay, some shit just happened. <laughs> Go on. Load. Even SSDs take forever nowadays. Guess Sony wasn't really bullshitting when they put that super fast SSD in the PS5, were they? Seemed kind of unnecessary. <laughs> Something tells me this thing's unwelcome regardless of where it shows up. Oh, that can't be good. The dragon's followed you this far. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay. Some just saved your ass. Now, have we reached, like, the Fort Joy of this game? Where the game starts to open up? As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Oh, alright. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Wish I had a little bit more detail on what the hell that tadpole was. Mind control. So, in On my way. Divinity Original Sin 2, you were on a ship. Oh, is she dead? Oh, no, she's not dead. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. No, I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. I gotta lead the way again. Jesus, why don't you lead the way? <laughs> I wonder if there's anybody else that I just didn't notice and didn't free. Oh, a loot. So in Divinity Original Sin 2, you went through the ship portion of the game. Over the ship of that game, too. But like a traditional seagoing vessel. And then you arrived at Fort Joy, which was a prison which was a prison but despite being a prison it allowed you to wander around a little bit and sort of explore the environment 
and get a feel for the way the game plays. I'm guessing that's what we're looking at here. Intellect Devour. This is like Dungeons and Dragons stuff, isn't it? I've never played, like, a tabletop game of Dungeons & Dragons. Honestly, I don't even understand how it works with, the like, the Dungeon Master and that kind Best of stuff. Keep some distance, or be a short fight. Best keep some distance. I immediately close distance. They're damaged already. And, uh, Shadow... Sh her, shadow Heart? Shadow Heart's hurt, too. Probably should have. Probably should have hit the other one. So these are more powerful than the imps that we were already fighting. Uh, this one's a little deader. Ah, damn it. Claws on Brondo. Maybe I could try fleeing. Don't waste it. Ah, fuck. Go. No! <laughs> it was a mistake. Oh, she's standing in fire. Awesome. She can heal. She's got to be a paladin or something. Well, help her, you douchebag. Not enough action points. Oh, she's downed. Oh, so she can die. Alright. So I better end this fight as quickly as I can. And it's over. Okay, I killed it this time. Um, long rest, short rest, stabilized. So I gotta... Res her? Okay. I wonder what the next move is. So they need to rest. How do I rest? No one stopped me yet. Swift as my feet can carry me. There's not any more of these things, are there? Ah, look at all this stuff. You pick the wrong Fuck. <laughs> uh <laughs> He's on fire, look at that. Okay, that could have gone better. Where the hell do I rest? What am I to do? Guidance, uh... Okay, that's weird. <laughs> How do I stop it? <laughs> I 
I don't know what she was. <laughs> this is weird. What did I just push? What's happening? Oh, alright. Level up. Choice is pending. Spell unlock. Burning hands. Which bolt? Alright. Command. Huh. That'd be cool. Let me go with burning hands, though. What is that? Okay. Uh. I don't, I, uh, fuck, I don't know. How about her? Hmm. Gained a lot of health. Maybe she wouldn't have gone down a few times if, um... Had that much HP on her. What to do? These boots have seen everything. Have they? Just stealing random shit. Hey, a person. Hmm. Harry, I've got one of those. Bring things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Are you watching me? There. Can you see it? No. <laughs> You're not going to betray me, are you? <sighs> yes, you are. You asshole. If you want to keep that darling neck of yours. And you, keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need him alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. Ah, promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. <laughs> I'm not gonna get this, am I? Oh, I did get it. Explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, 
Do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Kind of already a monster, bro. It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. Yes, let's right. trust this son of a bitch. I accept. Lead on. Again, I have to fucking lead. I just got some health, I guess. There. A mind flayer. That's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel... Compassion. Compassion. Huh. Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped. Made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to... Love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. And roll, got it. Your minds fuse, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. Smash its head with a rock. Need sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. Oh God, no, two, five. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. <laughs> Monster. Death is too good for it. Void bulb. Feel like a grenade. I've just looped back around, haven't I? I'm just running through fire. <laughs> and they jump over it. Because they're not dumb enough to stand in the fire. Oh, no, I didn't loop back around. There's a friend. But be careful. Check what out? What are you looking at? Hey, some people. What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gates, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Is that a goblin? What? 
the nine hells! Open the gates! <coughs> Oh, fuck. Should I help? <laughs> Perhaps I don't need... Fights are going to be able to take in a while, aren't they? Uh, I gotta be able to touch them, don't I? What are you doing on your ass? Okay. Yeah, just wander around up there with the sword. Oh, we have a horn. Critical miss. <laughs> Whoever that is just got fucked up. Miss, miss. Oh, I took some damage then. Get up there and help out. Moving. Low ground. We help soon, we can't we just run away? Oh, that guy's dead. <laughs> I don't suppose he was important. I suppose this dude is important though. Just kicked that thing in the nuts so hard it flew away. Let's do that try that burning hands thing. Oh shit! I just hurt my own party. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't realize that was gonna happen. Critical miss. They have a critical miss. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> critical miss. <laughs> Just jumping around.
Alright, so this went pretty good, except for the fact that I almost got my own party killed. What are you doing? Oh, you healed us. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> She's just got to kind of jump down there, doesn't she? Turn undead. You know, I'm not even paying attention to any of her abilities. I should have... Oh! Hurt herself. Miss. 75% you missed. Ah, oh, God. Stop beating her up. Not oh, healed her. Finally got a kill. One left. Not enough movement. Can you jump it? Hey, got him. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. Good. Damn. And what were the grubby little beasts after? This place doesn't look like much. Uh, there was somebody that died. Is this stealing? Yes, it was stealing. <laughs> There's one up here. Okay, let's get up here and... Okay, so it was stealing, but I don't know if I got caught. Ah, shit, they closed the gate. <laughs> Time to press ahead. Can I get in now? Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> I thought it was all locked out. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut their horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foulbloods ain't known for courage. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. <sighs> I'm supposed to hit these people? <laughs> oh, that's a high roll. I'm nowhere near it. With a thunk, the armored man collapses, unconscious. Enough. The goblins have found us. No doubt the beast will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately! Nah, that could have been worse. For once. Where are you going? Well, this 
seems no. like a lovely little spot. The sense of impending doom aside. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. That one character just bolted. And I got away with stealing all that shit, so let's see what I got. Ooh, gloves of power. Boom. Gloves of power. Not proficient with the weapon. Light armor. Oh, nice. Fancy. Not proficient. That seems like something I'm proficient with. Oh, look at that fucking thing. <laughs> Does that do anything bad? <laughs> uh, well, let's uh, to my other characters. How do I change her armor? I mean, how do I switch armor between characters? Like, to her? Does that work? Or did I just drop that on the ground? <laughs> Let's get on with it. Oh, nope, she's got it. Alright, so she's wearing something that's better. But it does change her appearance. I guess they did put quite a bit of effort into this game, didn't they? Let's get going. Something that she might be able to use. the same pretty much she can't use it though not effectively anyway let's try this way all right let's save 